So first, let me start with the Royal Society. According to my most careful calculations, the Royal Society was founded 350 years and 51 days ago, or actually 350 years, 51 days, and perhaps two or three hours ago, it, on a late November afternoon at a location about 600 yards from where we are right now. The site today is occupied by the enormous building that was long called the NatWest Tower, and is now, I understand, called Tower 42, though in my view, it doesn't get any more attractive however many times you change the name. <laughs> but at that time, it was the headquarters of Gresham College. Now, we know that on that late wintry afternoon, an audience of unknown size gathered to hear a young and not yet famous Christopher Wren give a lecture on astronomy, and that afterwards, 12 of those people, Wren among them, retired to the rooms of one Lawrence Rook, and there agreed to form a society. And for the first two years, that is all they called it, the society, to promote the accumulation and propagation of useful knowledge. Now, rather ambitiously, they set the enrollment fee at 10 shillings a head and the fee for attendance at the weekly meetings at one shilling. That's equivalent, in modern terms, to 500 pounds to join and 50 pounds to hear the lectures. A lot of money, in other words. These guys were very serious about what they were doing. Nobody had ever done anything quite like this before or would ever do it half so well as again. It was truly a milestone event in human affairs. What they were doing really was founding modern science. 